Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for sharing uh, a few minutes of your day uh, to listen in to some guy who's just randomly trading for nearly a quarter of a century uh, with some thoughts of the markets. Hopefully everybody is doing well. Uh, before we get started, again, 9-11, um, it, it, it feels like it was so long ago. And, and if you blink an eye, um, you really realize how quick life goes by. Um, you know, 9-11, 2001, uh, 22 years ago, feels like it was two weeks ago. And this is an incredibly somber uh, day, uh, day of, 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 you know, just a lot of sadness, a lot of innocent loss. And a day like this is very, very tough on everybody. Everybody, uh, especially the United States, especially the tri-state area, uh, remembers exactly where they were on on that day. Uh, I, for example, again, if you've been uh, watching this broadcast for years, you keep on hearing me say the same story. I, I, I literally started uh, my first branch of uh, Carlin Financial Generic Trading uh, in August 2001, and 9-11 came a couple of months uh, after. So I, I remember exactly what I, where I was with who I was, exactly what happened. So it's a very, very uh, sad day, and it will always be a very, very important day in all uh, American lives. So if you have a loved one, uh, if you have them around, if you don't have them around, um, you know, say a prayer for them, love them, kiss them, tell them you love them, because again, life goes by just like that, and sometimes you have to really take a step back to really appreciate uh, what you have. So let's talk about the market, right? T tell me if you you've heard this before, right? Tell me if you heard this before in the last three weeks. The Nasdaq 100 has reclaimed back the 50-day moving average, right? Yeah, we've been seeing this now uh, on and off now for the last three weeks. Uh, in the first couple of weeks, it was very, very exciting. Look at this move. The bulls are back. They're reclaiming back the 50-day moving average. Everything is going great. And the next day, you turn around and go, what, what the hell happened there? And I go, I don't know what happened. We just lost back the 50-day moving average. So on the surface today, we had a really strong rally. We'll get to uh, the pivots in a second. We'll, you know, we'll go through the names that we talked about on the weekend update and how where the pivots played out so you guys can kind of follow along uh, at home. But we've seen this before. And, you know, I, I would love to get 100% excited for tomorrow. There's some phenomenal setups for tomorrow in the mega cap space that we talked about, especially uh, over the weekend. But it, we, we kind of know, you know, we kind of know how this movie just doesn't have an ending. And as much as um, going into tomorrow with a lot of really good uh, long bias trades, right? Long bias pivots and long bias uh, potential setups. I'm always, again, and this is the common theme of the PS60 theory process. I mean, we're constantly uh, putting ourselves in a situation that, hey, if our directional thesis is not playing out, there's always on the other side. I'll give you guys... Uh, some names to watch uh, for tomorrow, but the Bulls did their thing today. Uh, it started out uh, Sunday night. You guys remember we were talking about the weekend update? Uh, we're actually the last three, four days we've been talking about Tesla, this tight flag. The question was not if it was going to have a big move. The question is which way, right? Which way? We kept on talking about there was a flag building, was building below the 50 day moving average, but it kept on putting in higher lows in this whole range here. So Sunday night, uh, Morgan Stanley, I believe it's Morgan Stanley, Morgan Stanley. Uh, upgraded Tesla with like a $400 price target. And again, this thing doesn't really need a, a lot of, um, you know, battery in its back. When it, Once some good news hits the tape on this thing, uh, again, this is the, an institutional darling, a cold classic. And once this thing starts taking out pivotal levels, this thing really, really goes well. Uh, not only did it finally reclaim back the 50-day moving average, it finally got above the range of 6120 and it put in an opening range high of about 266, retraced, danced around around 360, 263, 264. And boy, oh boy, once this thing finally got above, and you can see exactly what happened here, right? Put an opening range high of 66, came back, was just dancing around, dancing around. Finally, once it got above this 66 level, the next candle was just absolutely huge. It was a $7 candle. It just kept on grinding up, grinding up, grinding up. And you could see the option flow. And again, this is kind of what we talk about 
institutional money flow. You know, you could see the option flow coming in very aggressively. You have three, you know, you have three 273 weeklies, nearly a half a million bucks. You got the 290s for next week. You got the 282. For this. There was a lot of 282.50 weeklies that were coming in, basically $10 out of the money for when the stock closed. You could see six and seven figure bets all, you know, all down the line, right? You have you know, a lot of bets here coming in, uh, 285 weeklies, 282 weeklies, 291s, uh, 29167 weeklies, 282.50 weeklies. So you can see uh, the bulls had an incredible effect today. Very, very strong bias. And now the stock is above the Bollinger Band. Again, is it possible it rests uh, tomorrow? It have an inside day? Of course it's possible, but boy, oh boy, the momentum in this thing, you can see the volume expansion here, 172 uh, million shares traded versus uh, Friday's action of 118 versus Thursday's action of 115, uh, 129. So you had a big expansion bar with price action coming out of a range, reclaiming back uh, the 50-day moving average. Can it possibly get uh, a second day run tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay, especially if you have a week open, they trap shorts, uh, and then they go red to green and they take out today's range. Absolutely. It could be uh, very, very aggressive. So it's a very, very important name to watch. Look at a name like Amazon, right, with today's rally as well. Amazon, we talked about on the weekend update, right? Amazon, we said, hey, if the market is strong, watch this thing. You know, again, this is another perfect example of a stock that never went down, right? We talked about it was one of the very few names above the 50-day moving average when the market didn't come in. And it had a powerful move today. And look at it, guys. We're, we are a hair thrown away from the yearly highs. This thing is, you know, this thing is one day away from really getting above the yearly highs. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing gets above the yearly highs. This thing could really rip. But look at the option flow came in, right? Stock closed at 143. They were coming for the 145s, 145 weeklies, 144 weeklies, 144 weeklies. 144 weeklies. We saw some uh, 150s for October. So Amazon looking very, very good. Remember we talked about in the video, right? We talked about in the video on uh, Sunday's video, talking about potential losing the 50-day moving average. Again, this is exactly my point why we're always prepared on both sides. And that's what NVIDIA did today. It lost the 50-day moving average, took out that 450 level, traded all the way down to the next support. Again, it wasn't shocking that it stopped around uh, the next support. Because again, the whole P uh, the whole premise of the PS60 theory is stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand. Earlier this morning, uh, they were coming for the 430s, 440 weeklies, and there was a nice move. It broke the 450 when, you know, pretty, let me look, you can see by the 60 minute view here, look at this thing, right off the open here. And we, we talked about this on the weekend video when stocks lose the 50 day moving average, that first move is super aggressive. And this is nearly, uh, this was nearly a $7. Uh, this was a, nearly a $7 move. Great, great move on NVIDIA as well. But again, to its credit, it reclaimed back the 50. But now we have a definitive line in the sand on NVIDIA going, uh, going into the future. If it loses today's channel tomorrow, that's when things can start getting uh, really, really spicy. It says definitely name uh, that you want to continue uh, to keep an eye on. But again, like we talked about, you got to be prepared on both sides. Remember we talked about uh, AMD, right? We talked about AMD on the weekend video. If it lost the bottom ratio, again, went down two, three bucks. Nice move there as well. So the greatest thing about this market is whether you're bull, bull, bullish or bearish sentiment, as long as you're waiting for your confirmation, you can definitely get value on both sides of the market. And this is a very unique market, uh, despite the aggressive nature, with it, whether it's the Fed, uh, geopolitical news, whatever the case may be, it's giving you opportunities on both sides. And, and that's the whole point. You don't need to be right. Like, you know, tomorrow I'm going into the notion that, hey, Tesla has, you know, another day, right? Tesla has another uh, screaming day. But it, it's okay if I'm wrong, because again, if the stock rests tomorrow and has an inside day, isn't it conceivable based on today's action that it'll, it'll probably resume its trend either on uh, you know, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. And that's the whole point of expansion days. They don't have to continue the next day. It would be nice. They don't have to continue the next day, but it's given you a really good blueprint of how stocks move organically. And the post most important point is if there is an inside day, a day of rest tomorrow on Tesla, it's going, probably going to be on a third or half the volume that it put up today. And that's extremely bullish. Again, it's the whole marathon effect. You run 26 miles, you're going to be tired. Even though you can continue going another 5, 10 miles, you need a deep breath. And that's potentially a situation when you have an expansion day followed by a potential inside day for stocks that could happen. But hey, again, it's very, very impressive. Uh, Microsoft, right? Microsoft, we talked about this again on the weekend update, guys. And that's the whole point. We, we try to give you, I try to give you guys uh, on the most part, you know, several names 
a night just to watch. So you can see the price action, you know, play out versus, you know, uh, co compared to, you know, compared to, well, this is what we traded today. This looks like, you want to be prepared. Look, we, you live in real time, you smile in real time, you eat in real time, you have to trade in real time. So it's very, very important that we put the pivots right in front of you guys the night before to say, hey, look, here's the channel that confirms the stock and move. Microsoft, another beautiful move, continues to build higher uh, above the previous range. So going into tomorrow, let's look at the indexes. You have the Qs, uh, really, really big move, reclaim back to five. Uh, this is the next big level on the Qs here. Uh, 377.63 was the channel. It's also the five day on September the 6th. If we can start building above uh, this 377.63, there's a shot here. We go back to the top of the range. Uh, you got the spies, right? You got the spies. That ex it, it's a carbon copy of the Qs. You see how the spies took out this channel here? That's what we're looking for the Qs to do as well. Uh, spies just need to start building above uh, four, you know, 444.80s, 449.00 to start getting a little bit more aggressive. And if you look at the IWM, continues to be uh, the redheaded stepchild. No offense to any redheaded stepchildren in the audience, but hey, this just they, they just cannot rally this thing. This is, again... Uh, a good representation of speculation money. So let's talk about some of the names we talked about over the weekend. And you can see the prices, guys. That's that's the whole beautiful thing about technical analysis. It's not opinions, right? It's not opinions. These are technical areas that if buyers clean up sellers, the stock is, is going to go higher. Sellers clean up buyers, they're going to go lower. Every single one of these stocks we talked about uh, over the weekend, whether it's to the long side, to the short side, right? We talked about Microsoft, 336.20 needs to build. Here is Microsoft. Took out the 336.20 today, uh, traded all the way up to 338.40s. We talked about Tesla. Tesla gapped up above the pivot of 261.20s, put an opening range high in the 66s, retraced once it went through, put up another $7. Uh, Chewy, remember we talked about Chewy on the weekend video? Well, again, all you have to do is just watch the previous video. We talked about Chewy, first close below the earnings lows. Well, again, first close below 23 earnings lows. Opening range lows or green to red for a multiple day move, right? Here was Chewy, right? Being prepared on both sides, guys. So to Chewy took out the opening range low, closed at the lows of the day. Looks really good. Continues to look good for another couple of days of down. Uh, Amazon 138.85 needs to build. Here is Amazon, right? Here's Amazon. Took out the 138.85. Took out this whole channel here. Traded all the way up to uh, 143.60s. Now it's on the doorstep of breaking out of yearly highs looks amazing on uh, nvidia we talked about that was the big number 450 150 is the 50 day short there's nothing there there is no you know there is no uh discussion here once you lose the 50 day put up a seven dollar candle amd lost uh 105 went to 103 i still like this ionq i still like this thing hasn't confirmed and uh ayx remember we talked about ayx on the video how uh, it, it potentially could put itself up for sale. Again, not a huge move, but it went up about 40 cents. It's still building nicely. The fact that they're not selling this thing off uh, is is actually pretty good. And the bulls, uh, the sellers look like they're pretty uh, comfortable. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Obviously, I love Amazon. Obviously, I love uh, I love uh, Tesla. They confirm. But let me give you guys some other ideas here. Um, let me give you guys some other ideas here. I still like this IONQ. It didn't confirm today, but look at this thing. This thing is getting tighter here. Watch this IONQ. If it starts getting above this channel here, this thing could wake up. And a couple of names to the downside. Look at Nike. Nike is very, very close to taking down earnings lows. Remember those earnings lows plays that I love, 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 right? We did, we've done so many of these things just in the last several weeks. Well, Nike is very close to its earnings low. If it starts taking below earnings low, this thing could get hit. Look at a name, a slower moving stock, HL, uh, uh, HLIT. It's the same premise. Look how long the distribution is to the bottom of the channel here. If this HLIT loses the earnings low in the bottom of the channel, it's going to start its next leg down as well. So we're set up for tomorrow. Let's see if the bulls can continue. Uh, I know we've all heard the story before. We reclaim the 50-day, then we lose the 50-day. We're all disappointed, and we're all stunned, and you're back and forth, back and forth, but ahead. This is the life, right? This is the life we chose. These are the cards uh, we are uh, playing. And the most important part is, guys, again, stay healthy. Love someone. Tell someone you love them. Tell someone how, how much uh, they mean in your life. And the most important thing is continue to stay healthy and happy. Guys, God bless. I will see you tomorrow.